What is up, y'all? Welcome back. Thanks for coming. It's Whiskey Wednesday. I'm Espo. We're having another with Espo. And uh, I ran out of whiskeys to taste for the first time. So we're not we're not doing a tasting today. We're just we're making a cocktail. But it's still Whiskey Wednesday. It's going to be a whiskey cocktail. Um, yeah, I was looking through. Uh, I thought whiskey highball. That sounds like a that sounds like a fun one to make. And I'm, I'm looking up the recipe for it. And it's just whiskey and ginger ale or whiskey and club soda, depending on how old school you want to be with it. And I don't feel like just mixing those two things together and going, hmm, refreshing. Hey, bye. That seems like seems like a little bit of a waste. So here we are. I was looking through whiskey. High, I don't know why it stuck out. It was just in my head today. Uh, whiskey highball was just kind of sticking out and it made me think of Winston Churchill. I did a quick Google. Winston Churchill whiskey, obviously synonymous whiskey. Might as well just Google Winston Churchill cigars whiskey because it's going to be the same, same kind of thing. Uh, but I found a Churchill cocktail and we're going to make one of those today because it sounds really tasty and I've never made one. Um, well, maybe it sounds tasty. We're going to find out because there's, there's one dubious ingredient that maybe isn't up old Espo's alley. Ah, but it is. It is a Churchill cocktail. It wasn't made for Winston Churchill. It wasn't made by Winston Churchill. It was made in honor of Winston Churchill because famously he didn't really like cocktails. He just drank his whiskey and sometimes he watered it down a bit. But it wouldn't be a Churchill cocktail if it wasn't made with blended scotch. We've got some Johnny because that is one of the two whiskeys I or one of the two scotch whiskeys I keep on my bar. Johnny Red because it's perfectly good whiskey. It's perfectly fine. It's not your fancy fancy scotch, but it's there. It's a nice sipper. It's a nice mixer. It's perfectly good blended scotch. And then we've got our little thing of the old old St. Andrew scotch whiskey. Pretty sure that's from the old course. From I'm eh, pretty sure my grandfather brought that back for me. Not 100% sure. It's been there for a while. Never opened it. But. Mm, yeah. Smells good. It's Johnny Red. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Perfectly cromulent scotch, as I like to say. This is a shaken drink. So we're going to grab our shaker cup. Fill that up with mostly not hand flavored ice. And we're going to do the thing that most bartenders will tell you not to do. And that is start with the most expensive ingredient, the scotch. We're taking an ounce and a half of blended scotch. Again, that's our Johnny Red. Put that to the side. Half an ounce of Quattro. I'm sure any orange liqueur will do, but the recipe called for Quattro and I had it, so we're going to use it. Half an ounce. In she goes. Lid back on. Here's where we get a little dicey. Half an ounce of sweet vermouth. Famously, for people who know me, don't, don't love vermouth. Not my thing. Not really my jam. That was a full fucking ounce. This drink's going to be a little messed up, but I'm okay with it. I'm here for it. Half an ounce. We're going to pretend Espo poured only half an ounce of that in there. We can make a double. That'd be fun, too. Do I want to make a double on a Wednesday? Mm, that's a lot of vermouth. Do I want to make a double with a drink with vermouth in it that I maybe don't like? We're going to fuck it. We're going to find out. Half an ounce. <sighs> half an ounce on top. Oh boy. Another ounce and a half of blended scotch. This is why you don't do expensive stuff first, because you can't go back in time. Woo! We're only pouring a single on this one, but we're, we're making the ratios work. And now, half an ounce of lime juice, which means a full ounce of lime juice. I really hope we've got a full ounce worth of lime juice in this lime. Oh, I think we're in luck. Thank goodness for that. Oh, so Churchill famously loved his scotch whiskey. That was somewhat predicated on the fact that he came into adulthood during wartime in England, <laughs> which it always was, and in South Africa, where he was stationed. The water was worth the damn drinking. So they had to temper that with whiskey. Pop that back down. We're mixing that together, shaking it until we're thoroughly chilled. Mm. 
back into the small tin. You can go over that. Strainer. Also famously about Churchill. We're going to strain that into our murder glass. That is a big chuck and cocktail. Holy smokes. Looks delicious, though. Looks frothy. I like it. Mmm. A lot of ice chips. Probably should have double strained this one. It's going to be fun. I'm going to let that sit for a second. Um, yeah, famously, he kept doing that. Just as kind of a pick-me-up. He'd wake up and scotch and water. There's plenty of videos of people drinking what Winston Churchill drank over the course of a regular day. And it's it's a lot, man. Um, yeah, you better practice. Your liver's going to need the use. But again, this wasn't made for Winston Churchill. It was made in his honor. So let's see how it goes. It smells. To be honest, all I can smell right now is my damn hair gel. That's. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. The smokiness on the scotch is really playing off the room, the room, the Dolan, which again, it actually calls for Dolan and I had it. So that's kind of cool. The recipe said preferably Dolan. So that's fun. Uh, the orange is there. It's just sweetened in the back end. The lime juice is doing some work, man, because that is counteracting the Dolan a lot. And again, don't, don't love vermouth, this guy. At least not with whiskey, usually. In other things, I can kind of tolerate it, but that's, oh man, that's, that's kind of all right, man. I'm kind of into that. Again, the smokiness of the scotch is really coming through. Really hits you in the face. You know you're drinking whiskey. It's down a bit because it's obviously not just whiskey. The shaken aspect makes it all nice and frothy. That's delicious. Oh, man. That's a great drink. Great times. Highly recommend. Churchill cocktail. Check on that out. Nice, easy, four ingredients. Ounce and a half, unless you're stupid like me. Half ounce. Half ounce. Half ounce. Shake. Strain. Delicious. Enjoy. Get after it. Churchill cocktails. Thanks for coming by, guys. Whew. Wednesday's looking up. All right. Wow, cool. All right. Again, thanks for coming by. Cheers. Have a great Wednesday.